Hey everyone, I'm Rob, a software developer based in Seattle, Washington. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run SQL, commonly known as SQL, on your own Mac computer. The purpose of this video is to teach you how to set up your own terminal with SQL and get you manipulating data from the real world. This video will teach you how to download SQLite on a Mac, how to download relevant SQLite databases, and how to work on your native Mac terminal. So if you're ready to take the next step in your SQL journey, let's start. We'll begin by navigating to this website URL you can see in the toolbar. SQLite is a free self-contained SQL engine that uses your native terminal to query. This website offers downloads for a variety of computers, but for this tutorial, we'll go ahead and focus on the Mac environment. So let's go ahead and find the Mac version, and let's click on it to download it. Now let's go ahead and open this up in our finder. And in our downloads folder, we'll go ahead and unzip this. And then lastly, go ahead and drag this to your desktop. This location is going to be important for later when we're working in our terminal, so we can make sure that we're all following along together. Now, there's a lot of available data sets on the internet. Feel free to Google around to find something that fits your specific interest. For this video, I recommend choosing any of these clean data sets from the Stanford course on data. For the rest of this video, I'll be using the American Community Survey One Year data for 2015. And I would suggest that you do the same to follow along. And before you download the data, you can go ahead and take a look at an example Google spreadsheet. All right, and we can see in our example Google spreadsheet, this has three tables, state, congressional district, and place. And at the top of each of these tables are our columns. For example, year, name, GOID, and then occupying all of our columns are our rows. So this gives us a good idea if this is a data set that we want to use. So once we've made that decision, we can go ahead and download this SQLite database. And then again, we're going to go ahead and show this in the finder. And one more time, we'll go ahead and drag this to our desktop. All right, and I'll go ahead and check my desktop to make sure that our SQLite program and also our SQLite data set are all sitting on our desktop. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We'll want to begin by opening up our terminal. We can do that by just going to this magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of our screen and typing in terminal. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and use some basic command line commands. But if you're curious on how to better navigate and utilize your terminal, I recommend taking Codecademy's command course if you'd like to learn the basic commands or just sharpen your skills. So I like to start off by typing pwd to see what directory I'm in, and I'm currently in desktop. And then I like to type in ls to see what files or folders are within that desktop. Now we can see right away that we're in our desktop and we have our SQLite program and our data exactly where we would want it. If you have trouble finding your way to the desktop in your terminal, Go ahead and type in cd space tilde. That's the character next to the one on your keyboard. If you press enter, this will take you to your home directory. From your home directory, if you type in ls, you should see your desktop folder. And you can get into your desktop folder by typing in cd, capital D, this is case sensitive, for desktop. OK, now that we're all here together, I'm going to go ahead and clear out my terminal. Let's begin by typing into our terminal sqlite3, which is the name of our software, and then let's type in the name of our SQL table file. That's acs1year2015.sqlite. Next, we're going to go ahead and type in dot schema. And when we do this, we can see all of our tables. We can see our places table. We can see our congressional districts table, and we can see our states table. In each of our table, we can see the columns, such as year, and the type of value that will occupy each of these columns, such as the type integer for the column year. And this should look similar to that spreadsheet that we looked at before we downloaded this data set. So now we can go ahead and begin to explore these tables by querying any commands that you've learned. The next steps are just simple suggestions to get you started on your data adventure. Let's begin by sorting all the states by their per capita income. 
we can do that by saying select and then we'll name our columns name and then per capita income and then you can just press enter and we want this from the table states we'll press enter again now let's go ahead and order by the value in per capita income and we'll go ahead and make this ascending value we'll end this with a semicolon and this means that we're ready to make our query and when we do we see that we get the value for our column name and the value for our column of per capita income and these values are listed in ascending order from lowest to highest okay let's go ahead and take a look at another query let's go ahead and sort all the states by their median age so we'll type in select and then we'll name our column of name and another column of median age you press enter next we're going to choose from our table states and then finally we're going to order by median age and again let's do this in ascending value because we've added our semicolon that means we're going to run this query and there we go we have our values for our column name and for our column median age and our values are listed in ascending order according to median age from lowest to highest all right great job now that we've successfully accomplished queries in our own development environment why not try a few more on your own? Which congressional district has the highest population of people living below the poverty line? Another query might be which states have the lowest amount of immigrants? A third query you might come up with is which place has a higher Asian population, New York City or LA? And that's it. In this video, we downloaded SQLite on a Mac, downloaded relevant SQLite databases, and queried our work in your native Mac terminal. I'm Rob with Codecademy. Happy coding.